What's up, guys and gals? And what if I told you? Welcome. Okay, let me let me let me do one thing at a time here. What's up, guys and gals? And welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today, in the world of indie games, we're going to talk about the fact that one of the better vampire survivor clones that I've ever played is a waifu game. And as you may have guessed from the title of this video, I've done everything. I've I've done everything. See, let me let me explain to you. I'm not like a huge anime guy. I'm also kind of burned out on the Vampire Survivors formula. Like, I get sent about 10 Vampire Survivors games a week, right? And I, I dutifully try to play all of them. I can't feature all of them. I get seven videos a week across all genres. But in the case of Time Wasters, what you have is a very well animated, very fun, very well designed waifu vampire survivors game that is actually incredibly entertaining and i can't sing its praises highly enough so despite everything inside of me right now saying that this game is not something that i'm into just the burnout and the anime and everything else despite that uh this is a very very good title and it has a demo out you can check it out right now down below in the description if you wanted to get it on top of that you can also take a look down there and you'll find a link to my discord and my twitch stream just in case you wanted to hang out live so lo let's go ahead and play time wasters for the next 30 minutes and this is a game that i think the developers fully grasp the essence of making a vampire survivors game i see a lot of swings and i see a lot of misses and those swings and misses very much imply to me that like some some people creating vampire survivors games don't really get to the crux of why the genre became popular and i think this game makes a really good holotype example of why these games got popular and what you should be focusing on if you're making a game like this so that you don't kind of end up in the pile of vampire survivors games that i play for 20 minutes and then kind of abandon this is not that game this one made me play for probably the last two hours when i should have been recording this video the beginning of the game we get to pick a captain there's azurine she has blue hair and she fires blue lasers uh we have vermilion she has red hair and she shoots red fireball lasers uh we have Corosia who, as you may have guessed, favors acid attacks. I have not unlocked her yet. And then we have Luna, who has the Wolf Pack, which is a bunch of drones that follow her around and auto-battle the enemy so that you don't have to do anything at all. They're just pets that clean up the map for you. We're going to play Luna for right now. Uh, we're going to start out with four Wolf Pack ships. Uh, our damage is pretty good, and we should be able to kind of take care of business here. So here we are at the beginning of the game. Solid chance here that I'm going to kind of like mess up and not explain some things because this game is incredibly fast paced and it tries to murder you very, very rapidly after you start spawning. Those little yellow guys you see right there, those are my wolf packs. Uh, they are killing enemies and enemies are dropping gold. Now, if I hit escape, we are playing the game on a map. The map has objectives. There are planets all over the place that do different things. So some planets will spawn repair kits every 60 seconds. Some planets will give you time cubes every 60 seconds. Some will give you space cubes every 60 seconds. Uh, some of them are shops. Some of them are holdout areas. So when enemy waves get really, really hard, the planet has 10 turrets on it. And you can sit on top of the planet and it will laser everything down for you there are gold mining planets you need to defend them the enemy is going to invade and try to destroy these planets to eliminate your ability to gather resources so the map is something that you want to pay attention to the character you can move and you can have your guys auto battle or by clicking you can force them all to fire in one direction and it works the same way for pretty much every single gun in the game so you can have your, your ship auto fire or you can control the fire. I think that's a really good middle ground. That guy's, suck, that guy's sucking up all of our gold, but if we kill him, we get it all back and we get a bunch of level ups. Yeah, you guys are going to want to kind of like clear a way out over here so that I can leave and not die. Uh, you also have a boost that's going to be on your shift. You are kind of immune to damage while you boost. Sort of, but don't rely on it too heavily. Like, the damage absorption runs out if it soaks too much damage. You guys just keep wiping out enemies over here. 
We'll grab all those goodies right there. Everything in this game is done very well. The graphics are spotless. They look amazing. The explosions look incredible. The backgrounds and the parallax are tuned just right. Picking up pickups feels incredible. The filling of the meter looks great. Uh, there are a bunch of gambling mechanics in this game as well that basically incorporate roulette and slot machines into like the upgrades and whatnot that you're going to get. That's incredibly addictive and done exceptionally well. There's not a whole lot of parts about this game Game that I'm upset about. Let's do some level ups, shall we? Uh, so we've got nine level ups that we're sitting on right now while I was talking to you. I am going to take a gold per pickup so that we get more gold every time we pick up a gold nugget. I'm going to increase the damage of my wolf pack. I'm going to increase the amount of my wolf pack ships. I'm going to get two more wolf packs and 10 damage. That sounds good. More, oh, I can get Azurine here, but I don't have the plasma gun. So you can get the other pilots, they can join you as co-pilots so that you can come up with builds because every pilot has a perk that you level up like our wolf pack one that adds more wolf pack ships. Every character can get the wolf pack ships, but not every character has that perk that gives you two ships and 10 damage like five times. If you take the other pilot as your co-pilot, you get access to that perk. So if we took Azurine right now, we could take the plasma gun, and the plasma gun would be able to be pushed far beyond its normal capabilities for what Luna can do with it just by nature of the fact that we have Azurine on board. For now, I'm going to wait to take Azurine until I actually have the weapon that she benefits from, and I'm going to take more wolf ship damage. It really wants me to take Azurine right now. Very, very badly. Okay, I'll take it, and there's the plasma cannon. We got it on the next draw. Uh, more wolf pack ships sounds really good, and more wolf pack hull sounds even better. Now I've got a little gun that I can fire at the enemy, at least to sort of protect myself and run point defense on all of these little bullets that are being fired at me from outside the periphery of the arena. Let's grab as much XP from right there as we can. We got a magnet. Hell yeah. Eight more level ups. Let's do it. So I'm going to take Plasma Upgrade, Plasma Upgrade, Wolf Ship HP, Wolf Pack Fleet Size, Gold Pickup, Wolf Pack Hull, Wolf Ship Damage, uh, Max Wolf Pack Ships. There we go. We should have a lot of drones flying around at this point. Uh, if you pick up gold above the gold mining planet, you get bonus XP for every single nugget that you pick up. That right there is basically, if I had been able to pick up that magnet on top of this thing, it would have been incredible. That's a hull repair right there in case you didn't know what that is. We've got a shop down here. If you've got enough time cubes, you can spend them over there to get a free level up. We also have the time cube mine over here, I think. Oh, the space cube locator. We have a 10% chance to get a space cube. It spun the wheel and we lost, unfortunately. However, every time you spin the wheel and lose, it increases your chances by 10%. The Time cubes are used for buying level ups and re rolling your level ups. The space cubes are used for metagame upgrades that exist in between play sessions. And there are. Sorry about that. I clicked off screen right there on accident. There are, and boy howdy, are there a ton of metagame upgrades. They all feel pretty meaningful. They all buff your characters up in a pretty satisfying, incredible way. Dude, the wolf pack is just absolutely shredding these guys right now. This may be one of the best builds I've had this early in the game ever. I've mostly been losing around the 8 minute mark when I play this game, but actually I feel like on camera, if I don't screw this up, we're in pretty good shape. This is our first boss. The bosses in this game are modular. They have different body parts. If you blow them off, you get more bonuses and stuff. And so I would recommend individually disassembling the enemy craft if you can, and then taking out the center fuselage or hull before you move on. So there's our first boss down. That may be the fastest boss kill that I've ever conjured. We've got eight more level ups. Let's increase our wolf pack respawn. We will take a new weapon here soon, I think, but I'm going to get one more boost. I'm going to unlock the gold refinery. I'm going to increase the amount of plasma we fire per second. I'm going to level up wolf pack hull. I'm going to increase the damage on my plasma gun. Wolf ship respawn, wolf ship hull. Uh, we are almost there with maxing out the wolf ships, and then we can move on to other stuff. One thing I would suggest in this game is that there's so many upgrades, and there's so many things you can draft 
on any given day. This is them trying to crack one of my planets, by the way. You know that gold refinery that I just unlocked? They're trying to kill it. And so we gotta destroy the planet crackers real fast before it annihilates my, my gold mine. One thing I would recommend to new players of this game is don't get out of control with your build too rapidly. The reason for that being is that every single weapon that you take has like five upgrade trees. And let's say your first five level ups, you take a new weapon instead of upgrading a previous weapon. That means that you just added 25 things to the draft that are diluting your pool of things that you want. And this is definitely one of those games where you kind of want to max out one thing at a time or two things at a time before you move on to the next weapon. My experience has been much more successful that way. And we're doing a pretty good job right now. We're not doing bad. Planet pickup right there isn't too terrible. We got a lot of enemies coming on in. Hopefully the wolf pack can thin them on out. These little guys right here can be a big problem because they're actually just trying to ram into you. And if they trap you and pin you, you'll basically die instantly. Like many other Vampire Survivors game, this game struggles with telegraphing when you're taking damage. Uh, you tend to just kind of get pinned and die instantly. It's, it's hard to tell when you're taking damage in this game sometimes. I'm going to level up. I'm going to get max hull. That sounds good. I'm going to get wolf ship cooldown. Plasma shots per second. I'm going to take a reroll there. Damage per plasma is good. Plasma per shot is better. That gives us two more projectiles on our plasma gun. I will take gold per pickup there, just natively. We don't need to be near a planet for that to work. I'll take two more plasma bullets per shot. And as you can see, it gets pretty loud and rowdy in this game. Once you start to get a build going, it actually becomes quite difficult to figure out even what's going on after a little while. Like sometimes I have to pause the game and just look at the map for a minute to figure out even where I am or what I'm doing or what I want to attempt to do next. Free time cube right there. Good, good. Do we have another refinery? No, we don't. Refinery's not ready yet. All right. Be careful with your boost, too. It's really easy to boost yourself to death on accident. Like, you'll get the hang of it, but this is definitely a fast-paced, frenetic game where it takes a little while to grasp, like, the proper usage of the boost and, like, how to terminate it and use it properly. I think that's kind of fun, and it makes the game a little bit more interesting, but it can be a little bit difficult to control from time to time. I'm just going to get out of that situation right now, even if it costs me my shield. I'm going to go for this time cube down here so that maybe I can buy a free level up a little bit later. There's a time cube. What other planets do I have around? I'm not even sure what I'm actively working on at the moment. Take all that gold and a vault. Poof. We got a bunch of good stuff over here. Seven upgrades. I'm going to nerf my plasma spread. I'm going to take the laser strike. We're finally going to incorporate a new weapon. We're going to get more max hull. We're going to get wolf ship respawn maxed out. We are going to grab gold refinery cooldown. Wolf ship hull upgrade. Plasma firing speed. Feels pretty good. Uh, those blue lasers flying all over the place, those are mine. That's the laser ability that we just bought. We don't have to worry about dodging those. They exist. I'm just going to kind of... Yeah, I got to get out of there, man. If I stay in there, nothing good is going to happen to me. There's my gold vault right there. We got some goodies flying around. Uh, we've been pinned by a boss at kind of a bad time. If I had to admit, this would not be the time I would want to face a boss... But let's just go ahead and whittle him down. DPS is still looking strong. This boss takes a really long time if you don't have good DPS. His HP is pretty enormous, and we seem to be going through him pretty fast. So I think we're okay here. Right after we kill this guy, I'm pretty sure we're going to get another planetary invasion that we've got to deal with. Oh, good. I think we just unlocked Corrosia. Hey, there's another space, another space cube. 20% chance. Ah, uh, we struck out, but it'll go up to 30%. 20, oh, it gave me plus 20, so I guess it's additive. It's 10% the first time you miss, 20% the second time, 30%. So that's even better, but, like, this is a solid understanding of what makes Vampire Survivors entertaining. Never forget, the developer of Vampire Survivors designed slot machines before he made Vampire Survivors. People aren't playing Vampire Survivors for a well-balanced, nuanced gameplay experience. 
we we are playing it because it's effectively a slot machine that rewards us with a fully exploding screen and allows us to be ridiculously overpowered simultaneously. Like a Vampire Survivors game is effectively the evolution of like Dynasty Warriors. If Dynasty Warriors got drunk and rolled headfirst through a casino, that's the entire point of the genre. And like I've noticed with a lot of Vampire Survivors games, it's very clear that they're trying to make like a super difficult like Dark Soulsy game where your build has to be perfect and your dodges have to be frame perfect and like you know the enemies take a million shots to kill uh, I, that to me is just really unappealing in a Vampire Survivor style game a bullet heaven it just is uh, I like to see the whole screen blow up I like I like the revelry and just the mayhem and the spectacle of it all I'm not really playing this genre of game to be challenged I, I'm here to indulge my power fantasies and just drop massive double-sized dookies all over screens full of enemies, and I will gravitate towards the I will gravitate towards the game that allows me to do that most efficiently. And as of right now, it appears to be Time Wasters, a game that is also named tongue in cheek, uh, where half the bosses are called like Time Wasters Supreme, where it's a play on words that like the enemy is trying to disrupt time. But simultaneously, if you think about it, this is a super simple game that's just here to waste time with all kinds of eye candy and cool things happening on screen as you make a build. Uh, this may be it. I need to get out of here. I think this is the wave that gets me like 90% of the time, and I just need to get outside of it before it compresses on top of me. We have 14 level ups. Okay, let me do something with that. I'm going to take... A new weapon because we're getting closer with plasma to being maxed out we're gonna take all the laser upgrades that we see I took Nova so I guess we'll start upgrading it gold magnets good wolf ship damage even better lower the plasma spread Let's just get another boost in case I need to get away from the enemy. They do like to trap me every now and again. Compression is going to do a number on this part of the video. I actually keep looking at OBS expecting it to be lagging out on the frame rate, but it's both recording and playing very smoothly. Every aspect of this game is done impeccably. I cannot express that enough. It doesn't do anything wildly different from Vampire Survivors except for the addition of like that objective-based gameplay and like waifus. But oh boy, we gotta get out of here. We don't wanna get trapped in there. But it does emulate the Vampire Survivors experience very well. And I'm pretty interested to see what they do with that as time moves along and the game gets more content. Because to me, this is very clearly a developer that understands deeply the components of what makes Vampire Survivors entertaining, has the actual practice and talent to make it happen, and has now done it. This is a game that on paper I probably should not have enjoyed just based on the aesthetic and like the anime and everything else alone. And yet I sat down to give it a try because the gameplay gif looked incredible. And I'm pleased to report that despite my bias, uh, this game is really rad. If you're if you're looking for a Vampire Survivor style game, believe me, I play 20 of them a week. You can do a lot worse. <laughs> you can do much, much, much worse. This boss is kind of a little bit more mobile and annoying than I was expecting him to be. But I think as long as I block his bullets with my gunshots, we should be okay. We don't really seem to be hurting his health bar altogether that much. Like, I think part of it is that my wolf pack is not respawning fast enough. Yeah, his bullets are killing my wolf pack, and they're not respawning fast enough to do effective DPS on him. There we go. When we've actually got a wolf pack lined up, like, if a drone is actually in the position he needs to be, we deal damage. The issue we're running into is just getting those drones into position because he's all over the place right now. I think we've got this. Our hull still looks okay. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, that was an accident. Didn't mean to hit the edge right there. 
Not great. I'm pretty sure that's a magnet meteor. Oh, no, it's a hull repair. Nice. Okay, I'll take it. I need that. Uh, there is also a hull repair planet that you can interact with, and I need to find it. Uh, looks like our gold planet is under attack. It looks like if we go left, there's a magnet and also a hull repair. I suggest we go left. I'm going to try not to go too wild and crazy. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess maybe I can save the planet first. I don't know. Damage seems a little slow right there. We'll make the lasers fatter. 25 damage for my laser. Shots per second for the Nova. Gold magnet range sounds good. Okay, hold them off, boys. Hold them off, boys. There you go. Now I just need my wolf pack ships to get these guys off of the planet and save it. Unfortunately, the timer does not go down slower just because you've wiped out a whole bunch of their planet wrecker cannons. Oh, we, I killed myself, dude. I saw the gap in the bottom left and I hesitated. I thought I could gun my way out of it. We got a platinum score. We made it to wave 61 to 80. Not bad at all. Uh, this is time wasters though. I think this game is incredible by comparison to most of its compatriots in the genre. I don't really have that much else to say about it. This is a really, really well done Vampire Survivors game. The animation in-game and the art in-game is incredible. The explosions are satisfying. The sound effects are well appointed. Everything jangles. Everything jangles. Everything injects dopamine straight into the main line of your butt cheek. You could do a lot worse than time wasters. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we were playing the incredibly tastefully well done waifu simulator time wasters tomorrow we will be doing something else thank you for hanging out with me uh well done to the developers i i don't give out well dones very often on the channel uh well done vampire survivors games were kind of dead to me and this is a lot of fun you've done a great job i'll see y'all later bye folks